Let's do an example so we can see how velocities transform under Galilean relativity. So here's the situation. Anastasia throws a ball 100 meters per second to the right. That's really fast. Um, I guess she's a very good thrower. This is 225 miles per hour. Um, okay, so Anastasia throws the ball, and Beowulf is on a train moving 20 meters per second to the right. And we want to know, according to Beowulf, what does he observe the ball velocity to be? All right. So the Galilean relativity equation says this. And let's draw a little picture for what's going on here. All right. So the ball is going at 100 meters per second, as measured by Anastasia on the ground. And then we've got Beowulf on a train moving at 20 meters per second. Let me move that up a little bit. Okay. So in this formula, beta, that's how fast one reference frame is moving with respect to the other. So beta in this problem is 20 meters per second. V is the speed as measured by an observer at rest in the frame that we're taking to be um, not moving. So V is going to be 100 meters per second. And then we can plug into the transformation equation and see what we get. V prime, that's the speed that Beowulf observes. 100 meters per second minus 20 meters per second, and that's 80 meters per second. All right. So let's um, think physically about what this is telling us. So Anastasia throws the ball at 100 meters per second. And so she would observe in one second that this ball travels 100 meters. OK. So now let's say we've got Beowulf. Well, I guess maybe he's going to be upside down for a moment. So, all right, so Anastasia throws the ball, and it travels 100 meters in one second. During that one second, Beowulf travels 20 meters, because Beowulf is traveling at 20 meters per second. So the ball is now only 80 meters away from Beowulf, whereas it would still be 100 meters away from Anastasia. So Beowulf says, aha, the ball traveled 80 meters in one second, so I think that it goes at 80 meters per second. And indeed, that's what this formula tells us.